What's going on guys, it's your boy the Jimmy here back with another video and today thank you guys for 5,372 subscribers. Make sure to smash that subscribe button because only 7% of you guys watch videos are subscribed. But today's video, as you can tell, the tree is up. It is the month of December, so this is the month of Legitimus. Um, I have not decided yet what I'm going to do for the month of Legitimus, but I got a lot of stuff I'm focusing on right now. I have exams coming up next week. I have a six page paper I'm trying to work on right now. so. Once all of that is over with, then I will start thinking about what to do for Legitimus. But yeah, today's video, I don't know necessarily what I've titled it yet, but it's like a sneaker story time. It's pretty much my Black Friday experience. Black Friday was what, last Friday I do believe? I wasn't really planning to go anywhere, but I did see on Swish Durham's Instagram. So Swish is a newer sneaker store. They've been there for about four or five months in Durham, which is about 40 minutes away from my house. I saw that they had a pair of shoes in a women's eight and a half, which you guys know I'm a men's eight and a half and my girlfriend is a women's eight and a half. So a few months ago, me and Lizzie talked about getting another pair of matching shoes and she pointed out to me that she loved my Nike Dunk, like black and whites. She graduates next, uh, or this upcoming spring, so she was saying that how she wanted a pair of like Jordans or Dunks or some sort of like hype shoe for um, her graduation. With that in mind, I was looking at Swish Durham's Instagram story and I saw for their Black Friday deals, they were giving away, or not giving away, but um, giving about 20 pairs of shoes for retail price. And one of those shoes was the Nike Dunks in a black and white in a women's eight and a half. And me and Lizzie has, had already discussed it before how those were probably the shoes she wanted. And it would be a plus since I already had the shoes so we can match with them. I didn't necessarily want to go to Black Friday shopping, but for a gift for my girlfriend, I'd probably do anything. So we both went to Swish. Now me and Lizzie drove um, to Swish, this is at 7 a.m. in the morning, so I had to wake up, go to Lizzie's house, and then we went to Durham from her house, which is about uh, 25 minutes from her house. Me and Lizzie went, and then her brother Andrew and his friend Ben went. So Andrew and Ben drove separate, me and Lizzie drove together. We both get there around 6.45, they open at 7, and so everybody in line at 7 o'clock would be a part of the 7 a.m. raffle. So there will be 10 shoes raffled off. Like I said earlier, there were 20 shoes raffled off. 10 was done at 7 and 10 more were done at 2 p.m. So we were there at 6.45. So I'd say we were around like 20 to 23rd in line with the four of us. And then by the time it hit 7 o'clock, there were about 35 people in line. The only reason I went there was to get these shoes for Lizzie. So they gave everybody a raffle ticket and they read off the raffle ticket numbers. The first number they called was Ben's. So I was like, Ben, bro, I need these shoes for Lizzie. And Ben was nice enough to get those for me. Um, obviously, I paid for them, but he was like, bro, I got you. And he was the first person. Now, this is going to be a little bit longer of a video because I have to explain everything because it's more of a story time. So just bear with me on this. So some of the things they were giving away for retail was also a PS5 and some off-white dunk lows. If I wasn't going for those dunks, I would have got the off-whites or the PS5, but since like I didn't know if I was going to get another raffle ticket, since I didn't know that, I went ahead and got the dunks because that's literally why I went there. So they go two through nine and we don't get another ticket and I'm like, Dang it, we only got those one, those shoes, but that's fine. The 10th raffle ticket is read off, and I read my numbers jokingly, like acting like it was my number, and we literally synchronized, like the dude reading them off, and then I was reading them at the same time, like out loud, and we said the exact same numbers, and I got the 10th raffle ticket, and I did have another pair of shoes in mind, not in my size, just to resell later on, but unfortunately those shoes I wanted were sold to the person before me, so number nine, and the raffle tickets so that left me with no choice i really didn't have a like pair of shoes in mind except those ones uh they were actually the panda dunk lows in a men's nine i had no other shoe in mind so i was like okay just get me the i just went with whatever was my size which was a um men's eight and a half in the white university red dunks so looking back on that list um they did like the first 10 and then the whatever 10 remaining ones was done at 2 p.m out of all the shoes left on that list i wouldn't have been able to profit more than ten dollars off any of them but the ones i chose were actually the perfect ones i didn't even know they were but i just chose them because they were my size yeah that's pretty much the story 
So we actually got in there and we had both of our raffle tickets. They let us pay on one card, which is what I was trying to do be to begin with. And they were also having a deal where if you bought two shoes, it was $40 off the second shoe. So I got up to the register and they were like, oh, you, since you're getting two shoes, you're getting $40 off your purchase. I was like, bet. Because like I thought the like the um the pairs that were raffled off were like excluded from that deal. You guys might know the prices, but you, maybe some people don't. So the prices on the Dunk Lows in my size are a hundred dollar retail, and then the Dunk Lows in Lizzie's size are eighty five retail. So I got up to the register, and they actually marked Lizzie's shoes as eighty dollars, so I saved five dollars. But we went up to the register; it was a forty dollars off, and they were both for retail. So before the $40 off, it was $190. They took $40 off. I got away with two pairs of Dunk Lows for $150. Now, that is genuinely the best deal I've ever gotten. And like, I obviously could have, you know, went with the um, Off-White Dunks as my first pick, but the genuine reason I went to go th that day was to get Lizzie those shoes. And obviously I could have went ahead and got the Off-Whites, and you know, sold those later on and paid for these uh, dunks, but I would end up losing money. And I didn't know I was gonna get the tenth um, raffle ticket, so I just, I just went with my gut, and I was like, let's just go ahead and get Lizzie's shoes. If we get another pair later on, then that's fine. I also go ahead and unbox these for you guys. Um, these are from Swish, and the the Swish store in Durham. They do have a new location in Fayetteville, as you can tell right here. And then I think they're opening up their third store in Winston-Salem. These are a 7Y. So Lizzie wears a women's 8.5 and, and a 7 youth is the exact same sizing. Lizzie's already tried them on. They fit. So that's always a good thing. But here are the shoes. Literally just black and white panda dunks. I'm not going to do a review or anything of them because um, I've already done a review of them on my channel. But the difference between the grade school and the regular ones like I have is, is just the size difference. Everything is identical. Um, it's made exactly the same. So I ended up getting these for $80, which is retail. Retail was actually $85. I got them for $80. So I'm just going to take $20 off and say I got them for $60. $65 including tax. So I got some Dunk Lows for $65. These are Lizzie's graduation present, but... Lizzie graduates in May, and I'm not going to wait that long to give them to her, so I'll probably give them um, for a, like five and a half year anniversary, which is like New Year's Day, actually. So yeah, those are the black and white panda dunks. I call them the pandas. They're not officially called that, but that's what I like to call them. Yeah, just a great shoe, and I know Lizzie's going to love these. I mean, she was there with me, so she knows she's getting them, but she loves anything that's neutral and that matches with everything, and uh, I know she's going to wear the crap out of those and crease them very badly which is fine because I got my fair share of deal for them and then my pair of shoes also from Swish obviously because both of my shoes I got there and I didn't go any I didn't go Black Friday shopping anywhere else I actually had to go to work at 11 o'clock so I didn't end up going anywhere else even though I kind of wanted to because I was already up that early but it's all good because I got exactly what I needed and these are the um, University Red and White Dunk Lows I think they just released recently, a few months ago. I think they're called like the Championship Red Dunk Lows. So yeah, um, the thing I'm noticing with these are is there is a lot, like not a lot, but like a good amount of flaws on them. And uh, that's just how the Dunk Lows have been coming recently. Like uh, most pairs would be considered a B-grade shoe a few years back. And uh, Nike just hasn't been like, you know, doing a very good job when it comes to releasing their shoes in really good quality. And that's brought up other brands to you know release shoes with better quality and some people buy other shoes because of the quality of them rather than buying standard nike dunks or or, or jordan shoes anything like that because they don't have very good quality like nike just does they just release their shoes yeah they know they're going to sell out and everybody's going to buy them no matter what the quality of them is but yeah these are my nike dunk low university red or yeah, something, some championship red. I think that's what they're called. A very, very sick shoe. Probably going to hold on to these for a little while, and uh, I'll decide what to do with them later. White and red, just a very, very clean colorway. And I already have the Air Jordan 1 Low and the Gym Red, so I don't know. We'll, we'll see what I do with them. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet, but these are definitely a really cool shoe. But yeah, that was my kind of 
Black Friday story time, how I got two dunks for $150. Probably the craziest sneaker story I've ever had. If you guys like th this type of video, like um, story time, I have maybe a few things in mind that I could do, but I'll keep you guys posted on what I plan to do this Legitimus season. If you don't know, Legitimus is legitimate and Christmas combined. Uh, that's what I usually call my, you know, Christmas special. I had to give a huge sh shout out to Swish because they put on the deal. And um, I, I was able to get those raffle tickets through Swish, and they were doing that well of a sale. I'm, I really do appreciate uh, Swish, and I will definitely keep on doing business with them as long as they're open. So, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Hope you guys have an amazing day. And as always, peace out.